How can you even play Minecraft without calculating square roots? Let's face it guys, we have all been there. There is always a point in the game where you need to calculate uh, the square root of an integer number. So what are you going to do if you are at the beginning of the game and you have a lot of hoppers and no redstone? Well, this is the solution for you. So yeah, let's try this machine out. So let's try to calculate the square root of 25. Then we, all we need to do is to press this button to activate the machine and you can see the minecarts going. Uh, let me show you the machine uh, meanwhile, because it's going to take a while. <laughs> so yeah, no redstone, just hoppers and uh, rails and things to power the rails, of course. And let's see the results. So we just learned that the square root of 25 is 5. Great. So let's try a really big number now, like a real challenge for this machine, like the square root of 64. Yeah. Uh, which is another great advantage of this. Uh, no matter uh, how big is the number, it's always going to take the same amount of time to calculate it because of the method it's going to use. And of course, this is expandable. I could uh, do a curve here and do a lot of more hoppers. I could have used a, another rail line instead of those hoppers here, but this is just what I decided to do. And our answer is here. So the square root of 64 is eight according to our machine. If we don't place anything here, it's already calculated. The square root of zero is zero and so on. So uh, let me tell you guys how this works. While I give you a quick explanation of how this thing works, uh, why don't we try something weird like calculating uh, a square root of 32, for example, which of course is not uh, an integer number. So yeah, let's just do it. And well, the way it works, um, every time the minecart goes on top of a hopper, uh, it's going to lose one item. But as you guys can see, I send most of the items to this line right here, which is the, just a return line. And uh, on some specially picked places, uh, I just have a hopper pointing uh, on the opposite direction. And what it does is uh, it will take the first item and then it will count two, uh, one, two, three, and then take another item and then it will count one, two, three, four, five and take another item and then seven and then nine and then eleven and you guys can see the pattern here. So uh, it's a very simple and inefficient method of calculating the square root of a integer number which is uh, by the successive subtractions uh, of odd numbers. So I subtract one, then I subtract three, then five, then seven, then the next odd number. And when the number uh, is negative or zero, it means that we reach the, the, the answer. And the answer is the amount of subtraction that you made. So uh, after uh, removing three items, I take one item uh, as a counter. And after taking five items, I take another item and store it there. And so I can count uh, the amount of subtraction that we made, subtractions that we made along this line. And this is how it works. So let's see the result uh, for our really weird number. So we placed 32 items here and the answer is six, because six times six is 36. And this is the closest number uh, to this. So this is also useful for approximations. And of course we can get all the, the remaining items from this chest and yeah. <laughs> Uh, I honestly don't uh, expect this to be helpful to anyone, it's, I just created this for fun, but maybe it can seed some ideas uh, in your minds. And well, that's it for today's guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.